Now, a lot of us tend to think, I do a lot of work in my, this area here. A lot of us tend to think that, you know, we are pretty innovative in our thinking already. But I, um, I think we need to have a long way to go in terms of learning some of the fundamental skills for managing ideas. Now, we're not bad at kind of generating ideas, but I think we still got a huge amount that can be learned in terms of leadership and how we actually move and how we turn that kind of vision into actions, into reality. Um, my biggest sort of claim here is that the more we focus on learning these fundamentals, and if you want an example, think of sport. Now, when you're 12 years old, you know, you pick a bunch of kids, you give them some coaching, you know, they'll learn, they'll do okay. You want to pick an NHL team. It doesn't actually matter how much coaching, leadership, bonding you do, how many teamwork kind of things you go to. They got to have the top individual skills. And I think that's one of the, one of the problems that we need to focus on, some of the fundamental skills for managing ideas. And these are some of the, just a sort of a quick overview of some of those specific skills. Um, keep in mind that this book, I'll give you just an example. This book is called, Wow, That's a Great Idea. Okay? It's not called, Wow, That's a Mediocre Idea. <laughs> okay? There is a difference in terms of how do you judge ideas. Um, it's one thing just to act on ideas, but I want to make sure that we're acting on great ideas, not just mediocre ones. What's weak about a mediocre idea that we could fix to make it a great idea? That's the kind of language around the skills. Sorry, just, just before I get off, there's two more points I want to make. The section, pages A6 and A7. Investing 60 minutes. No, this is not for your, this is, this is like your homework, okay? So before you lose all the enthusiasm, this city has so many Starbucks places, this is what you can do. So go have a coffee in the next day or two. You know, take, go home, look at, you've got a CD back here with all the present, all the handouts, have a look. Review all your materials, keep it all fresh, and then do a little debrief for yourself. You know, what are the important insights that came out of here? You know, who did you meet here that you want to follow up with? And more importantly, what are some of the ideas that you want to act on? Now, there's two reasons for that. For the people that have to justify why they went to this conference and, and sort of you have to sign off with the boss, this is a really impressive thing to do. So you can sit down with them and say, yes, this is what, I, this is what we got from the who I met. Here's the things. Here's my, the people that we met with. And they're going to be going, holy cow. That's one reason, but that's not the real reason. The real reason is that this becomes, you know, the future plan that you can take advantage of. Because what I want you to do then is to take some of these ideas